Thank you for finding Valorin. I hope he passes peacefully into the beyond. I found this talisman. I think your brother was looking for it. You should have it. Linda Rani's talisman? Yes, it exists. Her sword, Eva Nura, was taken by Shems. But in the story, her talisman was saved and hidden. This means so much to my people. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Another time.
researchers at Skyhold make of this?
Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Let's see what we have. satisfied with his post? It's not an easy assignment, but if anyone can handle the approach, it's him. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, it is an honor to meet you at last. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. 
You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? The mage? No, there must be some mistake. From the Circle of Ostwick, so they say. Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Maker, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you were looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! Enjoy the party. Is that the Inquisitor? The Maker. The Maker. I wish there was more news coming from the convent. Do you mind? We don't wish to be disturbed.
Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. You're just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. Take the throne without the backing of the Council of Heralds? He plans to take it by force. If the Council would recognize him. Hmm. Waste of time. Struck me. Interesting. Well, that's useful. How can they call this a vestibule? I had hoped it's a to the royal wing guardians again. Barely have the size I of have heard they are the finest in the Empire. It's obviously it's such a pity the wing is sealed. I'd call it more of an antechamber myself. I heard Celine no was having you. the entire wing redecorated. But the time it will take some time to get our men into the palace. Why would she do such I'll a alert you when we're ready.
and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Shepherd and leash of the wayward order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Why are there so many ends here? The Empress can guess about the three. I had Celine was having the entire wing. Interesting. Boring. Good to know. How can they call this a vestibule? Hmm. Waste of time. I heard the Grand Duke invited the Inquisition here. What is Gaspar? How could the Emperor have afford to the palace? Seriously. Gaspar never struck me as nice. He must think he gains military advantage with the Inquisition. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Shepherd and leash of the wayward order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, renowned author, Tharic Thethris. Head of Noble House Thethris, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild, Warden Blackwall of Valshaven, Constable of the... Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. 
Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Ivat, uh, how are my mind, Papa? Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? It's true. The Templars have returned to the... I had hoped to tour the world. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Céline is from her side. Empress Céline is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the Elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. I'll be back. And well. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's...
that's useful. Yes, My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Céline is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. This is a private conversation. Did you need something? Hmm. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. I only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you... Interesting. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heal, if you ask me. That's useful.
something did I hear correctly if you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal you may have found an ally didn't you recruit them for the rank and file of your Inquisition someone had to remind them sternly of their duty a sensible solution I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your cause. Gentlemen. We will be in touch, Inquisitor. You don't want to be here, stranger. Inquisitor, are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes. This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, make up forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Good evening, Lady Marcelette. Another time, perhaps. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. You went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Philippe should have returned hours ago. Dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. Interesting. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. 
always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. Another time, my lord. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants. And well. No, no, no. Ah. Lord. I'm ready for anything. Just give the word. What do you think about all the scheming and politics? I think I'd rather be anywhere else. Let's save the Empress and get back to where things make sense. Say what you want about Selene's ascension. She stole the throne? She seduced her way to it? Who cares? In the years since, she's proven she is the perfect mix of strength, cunning, and grace that Ole needs. Gaspard, you may as well crown a bull if he wins. Wait for my signal. Does Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight? King Aduka has put considerable coin to the Empress. Prince Ezio... Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Can I get you a drink, Commander Cup? Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming, but no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. You spoke of Lady Cambien's shoes earlier. Shouldn't you be focused on other things? Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no?
Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Orle. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps? This is Halam Shiral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. 